Nobody feel for me. Hey guys, what is up? Um, welcome back to another video. I don't know where to begin with this, so I'ma just say it. Um, on Friday, your girl was tested positive for coronavirus. And honestly, God bless the vaccine because, and here, here's what I'm going to tell you, so because when I get sick, I get really sick and they always say you cannot talk about it until you went through it. So I never spoke about the vaccine to people. My opinion is mine. I've never spoke to anyone who dealt with coronavirus. Like your, what you went through is what you went through. No, I can only speak because now it happened to me. Um, so Friday, over the over the weekend, I wasn't feeling well and stuff like that. During the week, I wasn't feeling well, so I was home. So I went to Friday, and I tested positive for the Rona. Bear in mind that I'm supposed to travel like within five days, six days, and. I don't know I just I don't know how I feel um, I've gotten my last dose October 11th and honestly I've had the flu and stuff like that before I am honestly glad I got the vaccine because I don't do too well when it comes to being sick and stuff it has really shake me down so I can only imagine how this virus would have had me um, all I had was a head cold and that's about it um i wasn't feeling weak or anything that's it like that's it like I, i'm walking around here with just a head cold like nothing else people that are telling me um oh the vaccine is supposed to save it like no a vaccine ain't no superhero like would not make you get covid you gonna get it but your chances your chances of surviving is much better with the vaccine so anyways the health team <laughs> let's just let's, 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 let's talk about them for a minute so I tested positive um, my partner was negative so I had to quarantine and, and the documents to say that I am positive because obviously I need to send this to school. I need to send this to show as a as evidence, proof, whatever you want to call it, to my job. I don't have no documents. No one calls me. They didn't tell me how long I have to quarantine for. My common sense is what's telling me to do this. And to be very honest, once again, Anguilla, you guys strike. I'm not calling on anybody. But I am going to say that this is very, very ridiculous. How am I supposed to know what is going on? I feel like I just going crazy. Apart from being in quarantine, I literally feel like I going crazy because, like, yeah, them telling you to call four seven six soap five eight four hand, but two three five nobody answering. Like. It's a lion. Yeah, girl is here to say that it's pretty much a lion. Because I need to know when I am going to go back. I need to contact my airlines. I need a date. I need all of these things. And I cannot get it. Anyway, guys. So, I'm going to be... I, I, I assume I'm going to be here for like a week. Disclaimer again. I ain't knocking nobody. But I need information. And I don't need it when I'm about to be better. I need it now so that I can deal with my stuff. Like, please, get better. Yeah. So today, I am just chilling. I am cooking. I did some peas and rice. I don't know why you people look at it. Like, I did some rice and peas. 
and I have I have um, some chicken defrosting there. Probably gonna do some stewed chicken and coleslaw. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. But imagine my last freaking days. My last days, and I have to quarantine. I have to quarantine on my last days. Can you guys imagine the mock that is happening? So that is what's going on with me, guys. Yesterday is when I found out. So yesterday I was like pretty much depressed because I am ready. Oh, let's try this again. Because I am ready. Let's try this again. Because I am ready <laughs> to go. Shut up my stink stink. He bought me a mango smoothie from the juice bar. Big up the juice bar. Yeah, I was saying, I just, I'm ready to go. So I just, I, all of it was just so depressing. So yesterday I was in and out from editing my recent vlog that just went out. Check it out. Clearly, I was in a good mood when I first came, and no, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I was supposed to leave Thursday, so I may have to leave the following week. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do though is start this video off with, um. Like how to get to Angola. Like I've known a lot of people. Like a lot of my friends was asking me like how I get down because the restrictions and if I don't feel traveling is too much. So I'm gonna do that now, and we are also gonna do some cooking, and um, I'm gonna work on my schoolwork, and we're gonna see what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to be spending that time alone, unfortunately. Nobody feel for me? Okay, guys. Today on Chefing It Up With Jen, we are going to do some stew chicken. I already showed I know how this one goes. I already showed you guys my peas and rice. My rice and peas. Now I'm going to wash my chicken. Honestly guys, I tried my best to show you guys how I cut up these onions and stuff. It's not working. I don't know how people with food channels will do this. But anyways, it's just me guys. So just this little bit I'm doing. I don't like a bunch of red onions and stuff like that in my stuff. So this is all I got into my street chicken. Alright, so my meat is already seasoned already. Um, I still got my taste and the smell. So I'm glad for that. Um, so I'm gonna just put some oil or what's left of it, and now I'm putting in my onions and garlic. I'm just gonna let that you know have its little merry time down in there. Hope you guys having a merry time with cooking with Jan because I'm getting a little thirsty and I don't know if you guys want some of what I'm gonna have right now but you can just you can say the word it's no judgment zone over here <gasps> no judgment zone his life is handing me lemons today so while that is setting I am going to do my report 
so basically my report is about um creating an event fake and doing a proposal for it basically so i have to talk about my values my visions the mission um the location what it's about the proposal details where i'm gonna get funding from is it gonna be ticketed the artist and all of that jazz all right guys so this is the end of this vloggy a vlog this is what it is here this is what it is we got our corn rice and peas and our stew chicken guys i like my stew chicken dark i like all my meat dark so yeah I'm gonna wrap this up now, um, but before I do, guys, I got a call from the peeps. Um, they telling me information I already know. Um, they said I have seven days on quarantine. So, just the day before my flight, just the day after my flight, is when I'm gonna be released. So I have to book my flight for probably the following Monday, Tuesday, one of those ones. Um, so she called me today to tell me that my quarantine stuff from today or something. I'm like, Miss, I've been in quarantine from yesterday, no one called, but okay. So I'm gonna just eat this, do my walk. I'm already pissed because I lost some of my walk, God knows where it went. But we gotta get this done. We gotta get this done. Have a blessed day, guys. One love. What's up, guys? Why am I wearing a hat in the house? Because I ain't got nowhere else to go. And I want to look cute. But, anyways, um, just a quick update. I decided to pop on here real quick to let you guys know what is going on. Um, this morning, I got up at like about 7 o'clock and I spoke with um, KLM. To try to change my ticket however klm had no flights whatsoever going out until like mid february or some craziness like that so i had to cancel my flight um i tried to get on with air france today to see if i can get through with them and after waiting so long when i was about to change my flight when i was get to when i was about to book a flight the phone hung up and I've tried ever since to get back in contact with them and it was not working out. So I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Um, in terms of like how I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, my, my stepmother gave, brought me this, something like, um, Forget what I call it. It's like uh, it's at best. Let me just show you guys. It's like um, a nasal spray thing, but this is it. So you put your nose to this, and it got saline in the water, and you just let that bubble up in your nose, and it does clear everything, and then it give you these sweets, bro. These sweets. Cold easy or what it called. Oh my god, let me tell you now. If you ain't had corona, taste one of them because one of the side effects is that you're gonna lose your taste, but it shortens the cold and it, that helped me out as well. I right, ate as normal. I had eggs this morning. I put too much salt inside of that. So the good thing is I got my taste and <laughs> Um, no, I'm just waiting for some groceries to come to the house And I'm probably gonna make like a chicken pasta or something Not too sure yet, but yeah, that's the update. I'm gonna try tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna try and move my flight to the 18th Because they called me today just to back check with me and everything and they said that I'm gonna be released on Friday again They asked me how I'm doing what to do drink lots of water XYZ. So that's what I'm doing and I'm drinking a lot of orange juice and so forth. So I'm staying hydrated. 
and yeah i am fine like i'm fine i'm gonna try to finish some of my walk and probably watch um a netflix series or something so i'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow in case anything changes thank you guys for showing love to me i'm doing all right peace